Welcome to our Intro to Infinite Series activity. We start our activity by describing what a series is. Our first series we look at will be 1 over 2 to the n. We give the first four partial sums. And we ask the students, what will the infinite sum be? To look at this, we'll use the spreadsheet application. From the menu application, go to Spreadsheet. We're going to fill in the terms of our sequence 1 over 2 to the n in column A. To do this, select Edit, select Fill Sequence, and we'll get this dialog box. We're going to fill in just as we have in the activity. Then we're going to tap OK, and it'll fill in the first 20 of our terms. If you'd like to, you can toggle between the decimal approximations and the fractions with this button. If you want to do the entire column, highlight it. We want to select cell B1, and we're going to start by entering a formula, formula being the sum of all of our terms. In order to start a formula, we're going to push equals, and we'll see a toolbar changes. We want a formula for the sum, so we're going to go to Calc, we're going to, go to List Calculations, and select Sum. Notice here at the bottom we have equals sum, and we're going to enter the formula given as a dollar sign one colon a one. Close parenthesis, hit the exe. So. 0.5 will be the sum of from A1 to A1. We want our sums to go from A1 to all of them for every cell below this. In order to fill in such, such a formula, we're going to go to Fill Range from Edit. We want our formula here to go from B1 to B20. So colon B20. Tap OK. And it fills in all of our values. We'll notice that our values do start to go towards 1. And even down here at B15, it looks like we're at 1. If we select that cell, however, we can see that that's just rounding, as the real value is this right here. The second example we ask the students to do on their own is the sum of 1 over 3 to the i. You can just change your first sequence here. To be from 1 over 2 to the x, to be 1 over 3 to the x. Tap OK. And everything changes for us. And we see that our sum actually starts heading towards 0.5.